What's up, y'all? This is Jason. This is a follow-up to me having a um, fuel pump put in. My 91 Camaro RS with 3.1. So, um, if you follow along to this page, you'll know that my fuel pump died whenever I was sitting at Home Depot parking lot. And um, so, this is an invoice for whenever I had it fixed. And it um, took a little longer than I expected, but that's okay. And, um, anywho... Let's get on with it. So, um, if they would have only done the fuel pump, here we are. Here's the prices. Okay, so AC, De AC Delco fuel pump, which is on line two, that's one hundred nine eighty two, and a uh, fuel pump strainer, which that was seven dollars and fifty cents. Okay, so that's all you would have needed for that job. So right here we say, let's see, it says, um, spins over, won't crank. Uh, we found the fuel pump to be faulty, removed and replaced the fuel pump and um, road tested. Okay. So the labor on that was 460. All right, so 460 plus 109.82 plus 750 plus tax. At the shop that I use, you're under 700 bucks to have. I think it was coming out to like 611, if I remember correctly. I'm not sure what that, but um, you're definitely under 700, under 650, I think it was, um, to have a fuel pump done. Pay a shop that charges a reasonable rate. I think my shop charges, shop that I use charges like 125 an hour. So, um, Instead of doing one yourself, if you want to pay somebody to do it, that's what you're expecting to pay. And, and that's with AC Delco stuff, okay? I don't, well, I don't know who that strainer came from, uh, but there you can see the part number. All right. So, let's get on with other stuff. So, it sounds as uh, we found a leak at the rear pinion seal. Uh, we also found slack in both rear U-joints. Remove and replace both U-joints. Remove and replace pinion seal. Sealed up, cleaned up, refill gear oil, and um, refill the proper level road test. So, we've got a list of parts here. Um, we got some Moog uh, 2 Moog U-joints uh, at... 3332. We got some cleaner, some sealer, some gear oil. Okay. We got this job here. All right. So we got two different prices. This appears to be labor. Um, right here, this 17250 and a 115. All right. So right here, we got total parts and total labor all right it came out to a thousand forty nine thirty five so that was for a fuel pump strainer universal joints and you're fixing a pinion seal and re um, replacing with new gear oil myself i think that's not too bad the stuff that need to be done there's no other option it's just not like Hey, I think I want to get a fuel pump put in. <laughs> so, um, that's the latest on the old 91 Camaro with a 3.1. Um, appreciate y'all tuning in. Hey, hopefully she'll be on the road for a while. Uh, the funny thing is, I guess with it sitting up so much and the battery is getting kind of aged, I just looked. Uh, whenever I cranked it up at the shop, it acted kind of funny about cranking. A little rrrr. And uh, went to the gas station crossing my fingers, hoping it's going to crank. And uh, it cranked better that time. Today, I cranked it up to go get my hair cut. I got a little another, I was like crossing my fingers that I was going to be able to crank it to come back home. And I uh, looked to see how my battery was. I put a sticker on it that said had the date on it because I couldn't see it. Well, you know, the dumb thing is they put these stickers for what the date is on these batteries over on the side of the battery. Well, how are you supposed to see that most of the time? So, like the way the sticker is on this battery, I'd have to pull the battery out just to be what the sticker date is. 
So I'd put a sticker on top and uh, it appears that the battery as of this November, November will be five years old. So I think I've gotten all the good out of the thing I can get. It's gonna be time to put a battery in this car before I drive anywhere else because I don't wanna get stranded. Hey y'all, thanks for watching. Um, thanks for checking out my videos as always. Um, Air to mold fuel pump. So I don't know what brand fuel pump this is. I've looked at a bunch of pictures and um, so the funny thing about that is I've looked at pictures and it appears to be AC Delco. Um, I had a fuel pump put in this car whenever I had an engine transmission put in it at like 223,000 miles. So I'm only like, I'm only a little over, I'm, not, I'm like 23,000, 24,000 miles after that. And here my fuel pump's out again. But the thing is, is that there was another shop that dealt with this car for a minute about some problems I was having and they replaced fuel pump and it didn't need to be replaced. So I don't know what kind of fuel pump they put in it. Maybe it's some El Cheapo or something, but I'm glad we've got an AC Delco fuel pump back in this car. So, hey y'all, thanks for tuning in and uh, hope you're having a great day. Y'all get out there and enjoy some daylight and uh, do some wrenching. Y'all have a good one. Bye.